I don't know about you, but the thing that really annoys me when I'm working in my studio is cables. Just imagine the scenario. I have my cable connected between my camera and my light. I'm going to take a few shots. I put my camera down. Whoops, one of them's going to go, and that's going to be expensive. OK, so in this wireless world, let's apply it to our problem. I want to show you something amazing, the Skyport system from Elinchrom, the world's most advanced studio flash manufacturer. Elinchrom Skyport, in its simplest form, is a radio flash trigger. The system is made up of four modules, and in this video, we're going to look at the first two. First, we have the transmitter module. As you can see, it fits straight onto the hot shoe on my camera, although it also comes with a short sync lead if you don't have a hot shoe. Let's look at the controls. The main switch has three settings, off, group and all, combined with the second switch, which is the group selector. It can be set to fire just one group or all groups together. This will become clear in a second. The three dip switches here enable you to choose one of eight different frequencies, so that you can be sure that nobody else's Skyport will interfere with yours. The plus and minus buttons aren't used for this application, they'll come into play when we use the Skyport with the Elinchrom RX heads. Finally, the test button fires the flash for meter readings and so on. The transmitter is powered by a button cell battery, which fits in here. For the technophiles amongst you, the Skyport uses a 2.4 GHz system with a 40-bit encryption. It has a working range of 50 meters in the studio or up to 120 meters outdoors. The button cell will give around 50,000 flashes or about three months use. This is the universal receiver, which can be used with any make of studio flash. It's powered by a rechargeable mobile phone type battery, which after a three hour charge will give around 30 hours of use. To maximise this, an auto shut off system comes into operation after four hours if the unit's not used. The charger can also be connected whilst the receiver is in use, so you'll never be caught out. The charger, by the way, comes with all the most popular adapters, so you can take your Skyport all around the world. The universal receiver simply has an on-off switch and a group selector, and of course the same dip switches to select the frequencies. Firstly, we just need to make sure that the dip switches are set to the same positions on both the transmitter and the receiver. Then we set the group to the same on each. The set comes with several different leads to enable you to fit it to your flash system. So the short sync lead plugs in here on the receiver and then into the socket on the flash head. Turn both units on with the transmitter set to either group or all and away we go with no cables. Of course any other flash head is then triggered by the slave cell. But if we're in a situation where other people are firing flash guns, such as at a wedding, we can simply connect an extra receiver to each one of our flash units and turn the slave cells off. And then only you can fire your flashes. The most amazing thing about Skyport is it's incredibly low price, especially when you consider that it conforms to all safety standards. It's produced by Elinchrom of Switzerland. Check out the price at your local stockist. You'll be surprised. But that's not the end of the story. To see how clever Skyport really is, check out the next video in this series about the Skyport RX system. I'm Chris Burford. Thanks for watching.